This is the most suspicious man I've ever seen. To avoid being followed, he won't get on the subway until one second before closing. To avoid leaving fingerprints, he uses a handkerchief to coin on the bus. After getting off the bus, he has to change taxis and take a long ride. He stuffs a leaf in front of the house to determine whether someone has sneaked into his home. And it's more than that, he also put mirrors everywhere in the house, using the reflection to see the dead ends of rooms. The safe is full of cash. He earns it by causing accidental deaths. This day, Le comes home as usual, but he finds the leaves caught in the doorway on the floor. Alarm bells go off inside him. He turns around and tries to leave, but the police calls him from behind and says his house has been burglarized. All the cash in the safe has been stolen. The policeman says the burglars don't just target him. The whole upstairs and downstairs are stolen. But Le doesn't buy it. His suspicious personality tells him that the burglars come for him. Wine's disorder. Sue's death in the burglary of his house. Have him one by one, now it doesn't trust anyone. He unplugs his phone card and starts to observe the others. One still goes to the intersection to set up his stuff.